Just this past Sunday, we got to experience a joyous occasion as a church family. We had a special celebration at Loeb Stadium celebrating our 60th anniversary along with Kasuth Baptist's 80th anniversary. Part of what makes that such a sweet time, of course, it's the joy of worshiping the Lord and being outside on a beautiful evening, but so much more joy comes from the love that we have for one another, the unity that our church shares together. Well, how does that kind of unity happen? We've been studying through the book of Ephesians, and the key heading verse for the last three chapters of Ephesians that we've been studying through says, Therefore I, the prisoner of the Lord, implore you to walk in a manner worthy of the calling which you have been called, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, showing tolerance for one another in love, being diligent to preserve the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. Well, the way that kind of unity that we got to witness and taste on Sunday comes is because first of the Holy Spirit. That kind of unity is bought with the blood of Jesus, which is why we are commanded not to create unity, we're commanded to diligently preserve the unity of the Spirit. So the sweet unity we have as a church, it's a gift of Jesus first and foremost. But then it's because your brothers and sisters have taken God's command and word seriously to diligently preserve the unity of the Spirit. That means loving and serving one another. That means using their spiritual gifts to bless others rather than for their own gain. That means communicating in a way that honors Christ with the four rules of communication. That means progressively growing to become more like Christ through putting off the old self, being renewed in the spirit of our mind, and putting on the new man after the likeness and image of Christ Jesus. That also means living within the family in a way that honors the Lord. So spouses living out their roles as husbands and wives is how we diligently preserve unity. And then, as we'll look at this Sunday, children obeying and honoring their parents is also key in preserving the unity of the spirit. I love this passage because this passage is not just addressed to parents saying, hey parents, make sure your children obey and honor you. Now, that certainly is something they should be thinking of, but this is addressed to children. So kids, here's a sermon for you. But adults, that certainly doesn't mean you get to stay home because when Paul quotes the fifth commandment to honor your father and mother, That's a command that has implications far beyond the days of just living at your parents' home. That carries important implications for the rest of our lives. So I hope you'll join us this Sunday to be fed with the word of the Lord and to worship the Lord together.